Johnny Cat here. Today's video shows how to defeat Juno Hoslo, Knight of Blood, in a way where typically you will not even get hit once. Check the notes associated with this video for more written details. So get to the Shack of the Lofty, then pick up the Maiden Armor Set, which is inside the Shack. Then go to the Red Summons sign that's just east of the Shack. When you enter Juno's world, just run right up to him without pause and grab his head using the Inescapable Frenzy incantation. You'll need to grab him five or six times, depending on your faith level and buffs. So be sure to have enough FP to do this without needing a blue flask, as Juno could counterattack you if you spend any time between grabs doing anything other than executing the next grab. As you can see in the video, this is clearly one of the easiest ways to defeat Juno, who many consider to be one of the most difficult field bosses in all of Elden Ring. Upon defeat, Juno drops his armor set and that incredible whip. Please download my Best New Game Start Elden Ring Game Guide. The guide tries to provide a best start possible to the game without using glitches, which often break things. I've spent the last two years trying to achieve as much of a perfect start to Elden Ring as possible. Following the guide will get all players to level 50 in two hours and level 150 within one day of play. The guide is growing and now includes boss fight strategies, optimal spells, best weapons and Ash of War pairings, and advice on all things Elden Ring to make the game easier and more fun. The guide also features annotated maps of all the early game areas, allowing players to traverse those areas in the most optimal way possible. Build new overpowered Elden Ring characters as quickly as possible by following an optimized path through the early stage of the game. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? 